Lumos! Lumos Maxima! <laughs> oh, shit. What? I did it! I did it. <laughs> oh my god, magic is real. It is. <laughs> Fantastic beasts and where to find them. The crimes of Grindelwald. <laughs> oh! R2! What the hell? Lumos Maxima. Right now on Miscast Entertainment Movie Reviews. I'm dying! <laughs> He's dead! He's dead! Here's Johnny! I love the smell of my cup in the morning! Welcome back, you miscast miscreants, to another episode of Miscast Movie Reviews with your host, R2-D2. Watch it. Hey, man. Watch what a, that what a cheeky little bastard. Put that wand away. Stop pointing that thing at me. And you're the host, Greg Farrow. William, all I have to say is, fuck you for making me watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and your best host, William Davis Moore. Let's get back to a real franchise, right, R2? <laughs> Man. All right, R2, what'd you think of the movie? <laughs> yeah, you and me both, my friend. That's what it's, dude, he's, he's got a mouth on him. I know, guy. watch your language. <laughs> it's just still a kid's show. Yeah, how is he still in the school? Even though man? I just cursed, so you know. How, how did you get kicked out, and then he... he like does one of the forbidden curses well, on me and apparently like with Newt and Lita Lestrange I kind of took the blame for her doing some bad stuff and then I got kicked out oh, so shit. I took the blame for R2-D2 casting the killing curse on you which I don't know how you made it back but you know it's um, the Deathly Hollows, uh, man uh, uh, amazing I, I'm, uh, a, I'm a pretty powerful wizard it was a glancing blow <laughs> yeah so. it just hit my earlobe <laughs> yeah <laughs> now you're a little, 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 little ring singed but um but yeah, we're, we're here. We're cross. We got a little cross pollination of franchises going yeah, on. Yeah, we, we've got uh, <laughs> what a, a sci-fi opera mixed with uh, I know. Uh, what fantasy. Well, I, Star hey, Wars is fantasy too, man. It so. is. But R two, I think, needs to stick to the laser beams and lightsabers. He's right? got to watch where he's pointing that thing right? too, man. All right, so here we go. Fantastic beasts and where to find them? The crimes of Grindelwald. That's it. And uh, so this has a average forty percent. Uh, Critic score of there, right? shite. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's rotten, man. It's, uh, it's kind of getting savage a little bit, you know. Savage is an understatement. Some of the, uh, <laughs> you know, some of the hardcore Potter verse fans, yeah, I guess that's what it is. Yep. Um, kind of seem mixed, a mixed reaction. Well, the audience reaction is is around 73 percent. That so, sounds about right. Yeah, I mean, people aren't uh, the fans like it, so yeah. it's going to make money. Yeah. Of course. For the budget of $200 million. I mean. Holy shit. They, they, <laughs> they got, you know, they're going up to number five. This is only number two of five oh, that they got dude. planned. So $200 million we a got pop, in, though? We're talking a billion dollars by the end of this thing. We got to endure <laughs> quite a bit. It, it'll probably make five times that, Hopefully you know? So, yeah. yeah. And um, open up another thing. I kind of wanted to end. <laughs> <laughs> directed by David Yates, your favorite director again, of all time. Again, again. Um, he's directed everything since Order of the Phoenix, and he's going to direct everything in the future. Right. He's, so he's the Potter director of he all He did Order people, of the forever. Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows 1 and 2, and he signed up to do all... Everyone. Oh, the fan, his fantastic beats one. Yeah, who did Azkaban? Do you know? Uh, I think that was Alfonso Cuarón. I like him. That was he needs to come back in. That was the best one, if you ask me. When that my problem with Yates, I know we're still going over the cast list and yeah, everything right we'll, now. We'll save it. Save it. Okay, we'll save, save it. it. But I got a problem with Yates. I know you have a problem with Yates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it stars Eddie Redmayne uh, as Newt Scar uh, Scamander. Yeah. Um, he also starred as C Stephen Hawking in The Theory of Everything. Mm -hmm. And his best role, in my opinion, was in Jupiter Ascending. <laughs> Can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> Although he did come out, Eddie Raymond recently came out and said, "Yeah, I wasn't happy with my performance in that one. I mean, it was, was his voice. It was crazy <laughs> over the top, you know. But at least it showed more personality in that one than he did in this movie. He yeah. was really good in Pillars of the Earth. If you ever seen that TV movie, so Never that seen was it. that was the first time I've ever seen him. But I like him a, as that's a good miniseries. I like him as Newt, though. Uh, I, I like the fact that he's like geeky, a geeky wizard. Yeah. Um, but the best geeky wizard, wizard obviously, is uh, Hermione Granger. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, especially now. Yeah, especially now. Especially now. Um, Catherine Waters. Let's let her get a picture of her. <laughs> Ooh. Dude. R2. Come on. Jeez, come on, bro. bro. You know. Bro. Jeez. A little respect. Dude, he has none. She's, you know. He's in a bad mood. 
I think he's pissed off that we made know. him watch a wizard movie and he's like a sci-fi droid. Well, so. I, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> but he is in Gryffindor. So you're learning, bro. All right. All right. Uh, so we got Catherine Watterson as Tina Goldstein. Mm-hmm. She was in Alien Covenant. She yes. was in Inherent Vice. Yeah. I ha- I That's have what a, I remember her from yep. those, you know. Um, we've got Dan Fogler mm-hmm. as Jacob Kowalski. Mm-hmm. Uh, Randy in Balls of Fury. Yep. Yep. Uh, which great, is freaking awesome! Great comedy, yeah. great underrated comedy. Yes, with uh, Christopher Walken. Yes, Christopher Walken, yep. man, one of his best roles. Definitely of all time. check that out yeah. if you haven't already, dude. It, ping pong used as a weapon. That's all I gotta say. Uh, it's great. <laughs> uh, we got Allison Sudol as Queenie. Oh, God. Um, Queenie Goldstein, Tina's sister. Ugh. I think they butchered her character. We'll get into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was in a movie called Transparent and another one called Between Us. She's done a lot of um. She also she's also an author and she does uh, soundtrack work. So she's on the soundtrack from a couple of big movies too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ezra Miller as Credence Barebone. Yeah. Barebone, such a bad name, but yep. okay. Like Barebone is like vulgar. <laughs> a little bit for the Harry Potter universe, you know. So um, uh, he was uh, the Flash, obviously, in the Justice League, the yeah. best uh, comic book movie of all time. <laughs> What are you smoking? <laughs> it was also in the Stanford Prison Experiment, which is a great movie. That you've told me about, and I actually want to see that. You got to so. see that movie. That's a good one. All yeah, right. That's a good one. So uh, we got Zoe Kravitz, Lenny mm-hmm. Kravitz's daughter, mm-hmm. as Lita Lestrange. Mm-hmm. Um, Lita Lestrange, by the way, is uh, not related to Bellatrix Lestrange. Uh, Bellatrix married into the Lestrange family. Just for ah, all you Potter crazy bastards. I did family. not know that. Let's get to the big dogs now. I saved them for last. We get, I'm not going into uh, the other characters. There's so many characters. We oh, go all day. Too many. Yeah. So I'm going to skip right to the to the meat. And that's Johnny Depp as Gellert Grindelwald. Mm-hmm. Um, he was also Edward and Edward Scissorhands. Yep, yep. <laughs> Right. And Captain Jack Sparrow. In, in case you never heard of Johnny Depp before. never heard of Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Jude Law as Albus Dumbledore. Oh, what else was, in Ju- was Jude Law in? He was Watson okay. in Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I never heard with, of that one. Yeah, nope, never. And Gigolo Joe in AI. Oh. <laughs> also, check out Sleuth if you haven't seen that one with Jude Law. Sleuth is Sleuth awesome. Sleuth with him with and Michael Caine. Caine. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yes. Excellent amazing. acting. Um, all right, so that's it. That's what I got for the yeah. uh, for the breakdown. There you now, go. Uh, R two, your thoughts? Hey, again, R two. <laughs> Come on, watch your language. Who even says stuff like that? <laughs> I don't even We're get talking it. about a, a, a PG thirteen. PG PG thirteen. I don't even know. Eh. I didn't look at the rating. Eh. <laughs> Not worth the effort. It's up here. Well, he's rated R. I'm yeah, honest. I know, man. Do they even have NC-17? Sorry, we, <laughs> we got to apologize for this guy. It's all right. All right, so, yeah. so he didn't like it. Oh, yeah, I guess not. I guess that's a that's a negative review for him. Well, his 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 point, in case you didn't understand R2 language, was uh, don't see it. <laughs> that's all I got out of that. It's so. not fresh in R2's world. No. Uh, he's, he's rotten on that I one. I guess so. All right, Greg, what do you think? All right, well, I am. I, I hated the first movie. <laughs> Let me just get say that. Dude, tell me about how you feel about David Yates. All right. So, <laughs> my problem is and look, don't get me wrong. I like the I like the Harry Potter movies, okay? Especially the first Three or four. Why'd you pick up the wand? Like that's because, very threatening. Because where's where's the eights? I want to give him that's very really threatening. I want to give him an a, a, a Dava Kadabra spell. All right. Avada Kadabra. When he took over, the whole franchise all of a sudden became just a monotone, colorless meandering kind of mess and i could i just found it completely boring okay. like uh, uh, no matter what happened in the movie listen special effects are always going to be good in these movies they're going to throw a ton of money at them um and it was no different with this one special effects are great i think half this 200 million 100 million probably went into oh. effects alone oh obviously yeah and obviously. the actors oh yeah and paying, you know, paying <laughs> yeah. The, the cast list of 100 right um you're not a fan of the darkness no i mean listen it has a time and place, you know, but not for these movies. And to have just one director directing them all, I think is a disservice to it. That was what I liked about the first few Harry Potter movies, that there was a slightly different style to each of them. Ah, that's the way I feel about it, you know? Well, be honest, though. I had kind of had to force you to go and see this movie. You, yeah, this is all <laughs> Will's doing. Will really wanted to see this movie. I was like, 
there's really not much else. I'd maybe go see Widows. I probably would have rather have seen that. <laughs> it's getting really good reviews. I like it. I'm a fan. I'm a Harry Potter nut. I know you are. <laughs> Apparently, these are your robes, your wands. So am I going to just go on a limb here and say that you're not recommending this No, movie? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's my thought. So, eh, save your money. Save it. I just realized I had my shades on my head. Oh, there you go. It's so Blocking bright. the miscast Maybe this logo. would save me from the, the curse. <laughs> <laughs> deflected off the lens. It deflected. Uh, all right. My opinion on it is, uh, well, I got a lot to say in the spoilers. So I really want to get into the meat of the stuff. But uh, yeah. straight off the cuff, um, what this movie lacks uh, right off the bat is the discovery element. Like Harry Potter movies are always about like discovering the magic and leading the audience into the discovery of magic, wowing them with like, you know that sense of awe and yes, wonder like i now i want to i want to know more about what's going on i want to see you discover yeah. it and me discover it with you yeah. as a as an audience member this movie had none of that right the magic was like a second seat in the movie like you should already know about the magic and what it does and anything new they did you should just be on board with it right i I'm one of the only people probably, you know, not one of the only people, but I'm in the very small minority of people that like it when films go dark. I like the yeah. darkness of Superman in the DC world. I like the darkness of Harry Potter when uh, Azkaban kind of took it from that colorful yellows and oranges and stuff down into the grays. So and now you're talking and, darkness in the, in the, in the sense of in the cinematography color. and okay. lighting and, and all that, because yeah. I like the fact that the wizarding world is always like underneath our world, like a mm. sub world. And uh, it, it, it looks different. Right. Lighting like the sun doesn't shine the same way. That's kind of how I always felt. Yeah. But with Yates, the, the issue is he keeps it muted the entire time. So that separation right. of like, uh, wizarding world and and muggle world isn't really there yeah, I, can't, it's I have a hard right? time figuring out when we slide into wizarding world I was and that happened that. a few times yep. in this movie where i wasn't sure where i was right there was a lot of confusion um there's a lot of retconning i think that is there's a bit insane and boggles my mind um convoluted character relationships it was just a lot. Of, there was too much. It was like an overload. And and this movie, I think, uh, story wise, is just a lead into the next movie. It's, a it's kind of a bridge movie. It's a second act. And uh, for that reason, you might just want to wait for like Voodoo or some kind of streaming service to watch it at home. You know, with the fam. I think you'd feel better that way. I mean, if you're just a big fan of seeing the CGI and the spells and stuff like that, I mean, yeah, by all means. The bigger the screen, the better. No, I, I, no, because I think that on a home screen, you have better resolution, better framing, and uh, you're going to see the the uh, detail in the CGI better. So yeah. I always recommend, if you want it for the CGI, then watch it on your own home screen. Yeah. Because it's always blurry, and, and the resolution's terrible in a theater. And so. to that point, and you make a good point about that one, because there were times throughout this movie, I was like, I can't tell what the hell is happening. And we watched it in IMAX, too. And we did watch it in IMAX, so... Yeah. Um, so that's that's my opinion. R two, take us out. R two. Peace. Oh, R two. Magic blooms only in rare souls. I cannot move against Grindelwald. It has to be you. It's late. Good evening, Newt. Wait, no.